question is this, right? If you know somebody is hypercoagulable because of nephrotic syndrome, and I'm saying the patient's got membranous, and the patient's got an albumin less than 2, doesn't that make the patient at a very high risk for blood clots? Yes, it does. So can you prophylactically start them on anticoagulation even in the absence of a clot? Yes, yes you can. Is it an absolute indication that you must start? No, it's not. But you should consider. Okay? It's not like a DVT or PE where you say, hey, patient's got a DVT or PE, start anticoagulation. It's not that. When the patient is in this state, you should consider starting them on anticoagulation. So you can start them on anticoagulation even in the absence of a clot because you're trying to prevent it. Okay? So that's an important thing that you have to know. And this important conversation needs to happen, especially when your albumin is dropping less than 2.9, less than 2, especially if it's membranous. Make sense? So not just study it for the sake of studying that, yes, it increases clot, but how does it change for you in real life as an intern? If all, should I treat them is your question, right? So that's what you need to know about the whole thrombosis process. Okay, just to track back, we spoke about hyperlipidemia. 